So what do we have as a result of our encounter with the Son of God? Quickly, let me finish number one. You know, we're just in number one. The first thing that you receive with your encounter with Jesus is in Romans 5 17 is called access to righteousness this is the first thing that you receive as a result of your encounter when you truly encounter the son you receive the gift of righteousness right standing before God that's the foundation for peace knowing that that which creates a divide between you and Jesus Christ has been taken away that barrier has been taken away if by one man's offense the Bible says death reign by one much more they which receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by Jesus take it higher for me Elijah that I want to sing that song that says I'm no longer a slave to fear please you need to cast fear cast fear Cast fear. Cast fear from your mind. Cast fear from your life. I have the righteousness of God. Right standing with God. That he loves me. Are we together now? Romans 5, 17. And then number two, very quickly. What do you have? As a result of your encounter with Jesus, the Son of God, you have the life of God. So way, the life of God. According to 1 John 5, 11 and 12. I'm being very simple so that we can have something down. So the righteousness of God gives you room to have the life of God. The righteousness of God comes as a result of your being justified by faith. The Bible says Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. It says being made a curse for us for it is written. It is a law that has been written. That cursed is everyone that hangeth on the tree. That the blessing of Abraham. The blessing of Abraham is not cars and houses. The blessing of Abraham is justification by faith. The blessing of Abraham would come upon we the Gentiles, comma, to the end that we receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. So justified by his blood. I have peace with God. Oh, your village people were idol worshippers. I know. They ate human beings. I know. But right now I have made peace with God through the blood of the eternal covenant. This is very powerful. Righteousness gives you access to the life of God. And then number three, what do you receive as a result of your encounter with Jesus Christ? You have access to the spiritual blessings that reside in heavenly places. The peace of God being chiefest of them. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 3. Paul is teaching now. Thanks be to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. He says, who had blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. So in Christ, I have access to those spiritual blessings. That's what we call grace. The grace of God is not just unmerited access. Uh -uh. That's just a dimension of the workings of that grace. The grace of God represents the entire scope of everything that makes God God. His peace is grace. His wisdom is grace. Are we together? His power is grace. Anointing is grace. His mercy is grace. Every good and perfect gift that comes from above through Christ to men is called grace. 